This is the first Raising Cane's dog park in the state of Texas. Yeah, man, yeah. Now the dog park is not just a place to bring your dogs. There are benefits to a dog park for the community. It increases dog socialization, a dog's well-being, and its ability to bond with the family are important. It allows citizens to develop better understanding of their dogs and how they will behave in certain situations. And by spending time at a dog park and being active with your pet, community members can lower their own health risk. I think those are some great, great benefits for what uh, this park is for us and what Raising Canes has helped make a true reality for the city of Coppers Cove, and I thank you very, very much. I've been in Coppers Cove since 1996. Uh, I have two children that go to, go to school here. I don't plan on going anywhere else, so uh, it's really good to invest in the people that invest in you. Coppers Cove has been really great for Raising Canes and showing that partnership, and this was a great opportunity for us to partner back with them. So our namesake is Raising Cane. Uh, Raising Cane uh, is our founder's yellow lab, uh, and Raising Cane was there uh, as Todd was building the first restaurant and was always around the scene as become to be known as our, our namesake of our organization. So Cane for short and, uh, and Raising Cane. We have uh, over 30,000 partnerships nationwide and each community matters to us. And to see a community come together like this behind an initiative has been awesome. And to see our local team be so passionate about it and so engaged from the get-go, uh, it was just, it was an absolute yes for us early on. So this is a community that's been great to us for over five years. Uh, Sean and his team here are really passionate about helping out uh, the community when this need arose. And uh, we're just honored to be a part of it. And for any future people that either want to be a part of the scholarship program or just want to make an impact in their city in general, what kind of advice would you give to them? I would say, you know, if there's anything that you feel like you can achieve or a dream that you've ever had, I would say just go for it. Because, you know, when I first started this organization, I didn't think anything that I've accomplished now was possible. I didn't think that I could be, you know, at an event like this advocating for pet welfare, ad advocating for something that I've dreamt of since I was really little. So I would say if you've ever had something that you're really passionate about, just go for it.